The faces tell our story. The displaced. The disowned. The deprived. They are who we are, who we help. Lives uprooted, torn apart by wars, conflicts, persecution, natural disasters. All of them people of concern for the United Nations Refugee Agency. The Second World War left nations torn apart and refugees fleeing their homelands. More than one million of them. Governments needed help. The crisis needed coordination. In December 1950, the Office of the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees was established. In July 1951, the United Nations Convention relating to the status of refugees was adopted. A refugee is someone outside his or her own country and unable to return as a result of a well-founded fear of persecution on grounds of race, religion, nationality, political opinion, or membership of a social group. Its founders thought UNHCR's task would take just three years. They were wrong. In 1956, Hungarians rose up against Soviet occupation and were crushed. 200,000 people fled their country. It was UNHCR's first emergency. The 1960s saw decolonization in Africa and wars, independence wars, civil wars, border wars. Hundreds of thousands were forced to flee. Refugees were no longer just a post-World War European issue. They could be found across the world. And so the legal foundation guiding UNHCR's work was changed in the 1967 protocol be a global responsibility for refugees. In the 1970s, the spotlight of conflict shone on Latin America and Asia. In the 1980s and 1990s, new wars erupted in Africa, the Middle East, Southern Europe. The numbers of those in need spiraled upward in Lebanon, Somalia, Sri Lanka, Afghanistan, Uganda. In 1951, UNHCR started with 34 employees. By the end of 2013, it had over 8,000 working in 126 countries. 146 countries had signed the Convention on Refugees. Its work recognized with Nobel Peace Prizes in 1954 and 1981. By the end of the 20th century, in a world of civil wars, ethnic conflict, natural disasters, there were new victims. Driven from their homes, but not their countries. The UN's guiding principles identified a new group of people in need, the internally displaced. Internally displaced persons are persons or groups of persons who have been forced or obliged to flee or to leave their homes or places of habitual residence, in particular as a result of or in order to avoid the effects of armed conflict, situations of generalized violence, violations of human rights, or natural or human-made disasters, and who have not crossed an internationally recognized state border. As conflicts have altered, so has the role of UNHCR. In the Balkans, UNHCR moved to work directly in the conflict zones, something it had not done in its first four decades. It continues to do so to this day. In the new century, the world has the highest number of refugees in over two decades. Long bitter wars in Somalia and Afghanistan, ethnic religious strife in Central African Republic, Syria, South Sudan, an old country and the world's newest, both engulfed in conflict. All add to the immense, sad list of victims. The challenges will grow. New bitter conflicts and old crises unhealed. Millions displaced. UNHCR, over 60 years after its birth, will face them all, innovating and adapting and counting on a protection mandate that is one of the strongest in international law. 
partnerships with over 900 other agencies, and strong support from donors, governments, and people like you.